Welcome back to another short bit segment from IG Apps. In this video, I'll cover how to set fonts in both XML and Java. To get started, we're going to search for TTF fonts in Google, because this is a type of font that we'll be using to import into Android Studio and set to our text view. So I'm going to go to, to, go to font scroll and click on that. And I'm looking for something pretty much basic, nothing too fancy. So I guess I'll go with Railway. And you can see here it says download TTF. I'm going to press on that. And now the zip file has uh, opened up over here. So I'm going to say show in folder. And now I have this folder. Before I use this folder, I'm going to go to Android Studio. And underneath resources over here, we have to specify that we're going to have a new resource type. And that type is going to be font. So right now I'm just using uh, an app from a previous video called uh, having multiple pages in your Android app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify that the resource type will be font and I'm going to click OK and it's going to add that under resources. Now you can see that the folder has appeared here and it is empty. So now that we have this empty fonts folder over here, we can go back to file explorer and find the file that we downloaded from the website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract it. So you're going to click on extract all. And then I'm fine with this folder, but you can choose another folder in which you'd like to extract it. Because what I'm going to do is copy and paste these files directly into Android Studio. So you can see it's auto-launched this. An important thing to note is with Android Studio is that you cannot have capital letters or hyphens in your uh, resource file names. It doesn't work that way. You can have underscores, but no um, capitalized letters. So I'm going to have to rename this fi um, file as uh, Railway, and I'll say black. And I'm only going to use uh, like, uh, maybe two fonts. Or actually, one is fine. So I'm just going to copy this one font that I've changed and I'm going to head back to Android Studio, click on my fonts folder and paste it there. And soon you'll see that it appears. So I have to click yes, that's the font I want to upload. And there you can see it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my activity, uh, activity main. I already have a button in my page. You can change that if you want. You can add, um, I'm going to add a text view to my activity. So I'm going to say text view and then wrap content, wrap content. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set the font in XML. But before I do that, I'd like to specify that's going to be layout below. And then I'm going to provide the ID for my button. You may not have a button, so you can uh, center it wherever you want to have it, but I'm going to have it below that and center horizontal. And for the text, I'm going to say Android text, and then I'm going to say subscribe to IJ apps. Now this is the important part. In order to specify the font that we're going to have, you have to say Android font family, and then you say add font, and you can see we have really black as one of our choices. And I'm going to run this in my app. So here I have the app, and the text is a little small, but you can see that this font over here, which is subscribed to IG apps, is very different from the font or default font that Android Studio provides us for things like buttons and text views. Now that we've done it in XML, I'm going to show you how to change the font family in um, Java programmatically. So when it, first we're going to provide our text with an ID and I'm just going to say text. Then I'm going to come to my main activity.xml and then create the text view object. So text view text. Then I'm going to say text equals find view by ID r.id.text. And um, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to head back over to activity.xml and take out this line where we're setting the font family because I want to set it programmatically. And I'm going to head back to main activity. And then I'm going to say, um, I'm going to create a new typeface object. So typeface, typeface equals resources, compat dot get font. And I have to provide it some context. So get application context. And I'm going to create a video on what that uh, application context is. So stay tuned for that. And now I'm going to provide the font. So I'm going to say r.font.railwayblack. Then to set the font of the a text view, what I'm going to do is say text.setTypeface. And I'm going to provide a typeface object. Now I'm going to run this as well in my app. And you can see the results are the same. We've just programmatically set the font of our text view. That's all for this video. Please subscribe to the channel and please, please, please share the channel with friends because at the time of filming this, I currently have 51 subscribers and I'd really love to see that number grow as more people subscribe to IG apps because they found their new love of Android app development. Until then, happy developing from IG apps.